This is one of the main bugbears of the 690s, the upper tank mount. There's two of these on the bike, and they attach the whole rear tank unit to the top of the frame. And as standard, we've broken quite a few of these. It's one of the main early faults that we found. And it's mainly due to the fact that this is a one-piece unit in steel. And to machine it and get it to fit up tight, they have to undercut the thread and it always shears where the undercut is. So we've redesigned this into a two-piece using a, um, an 8.8 .8 high tensile cap head screw from the inside of the frame and then a separate stainless steel uh, female thread, which then means that the nut that's welded to the frame, which is one of the items that can shear, is under compression rather than taking the force on landings. This nut here is the one that's uh, heat welded onto the frame and this is the one that can fracture. Even if the bolt doesn't break, the welds can fracture and then the, the bolt will become loose in the frame. Using our two-piece unit, this removes the fact that the nut is used as a fixing. It's purely in compression with the two-piece unit so it takes a lot of the pressure off the bolt and nut and uh, just clamps it rather than uh, fixes to it. The box removed using a, a Torx socket, unscrew the standard screw from the frame and tack. Only do these one side at a time because obviously if you take both out there's a chance the tank can fall off the back. Now we're going to fit the male part of the screw with the kit to the inside of the frame. Once the screw is fully home Tighten that down. Yeah. There's no need for Loctite on this screw because we've applied Loctite to the inside of the female bush, yeah. which we will fit from the outside. It may need the tank just realigning slightly to get it to bite on the thread. Tighten it the first few threads by hand just to ensure it's going in correctly. And then we can change over to a socket. We're now going to remove the lower tank sleeve bolt uh, to replace it with our, uh, our own bush. Um, the two screws are Loctited in at the factory and as well as being tight, the bush inside is perfectly round, so it will spin. So the only way to do this is you either need an air impact or a very good cordless impact to spin the bolts fast enough. So first, use a 10 mil hexagon socket and remove the, either bolt, it doesn't matter which side. Then apply a small amount of grease to the thread and replace the bolt back in where it came from. But don't over tighten it too much, just to get it enough to seat it home. The operation for this side. And now hopefully we can return back to the other side and that one will come out. Now we're back to the original side with the greased bolt and hopefully this will come out like so. Before attempting to lift up the rear tank, it's vitally important that you disconnect the fuel line to the injector from the tank, which is done via the quick connector. And you just press in the stainless steel tab and separate it.
this then exposes the lower tank bushes so we can then knock out the standard part. Okay, using a suitable drift, just drive out the original. Yeah. If, the, if the bush on the outside comes out with the pin, don't worry, just uh, push it back in. It's not glued in or anything, it's just held in by friction. What we found was, by experience, is the standard pin is not really a tight enough fit into the polyurethane bushes in the tank, which then starts a bit of a slackness in the whole tank system, which can then lead to the breakage in the upper tank bolts. So what we've produced is a slightly larger sleeve, but also it has a through bolt, which gets away from the problem of having two captive bolts which spin Right, before putting the new sleeve in, just spray a bit of any sort of oil lubricant or grease just to help it through the bushes. You'll be able to start it off by hand and then just carry on driving it through with a soft mallet and try and hold the bush in on the opposite side with your fingers. And then just hit it in until it's flush. Right. Okay, now we've refit the bolt. Give it a little tap through. Okay, we can do that. With our new fitting uh, bolt, we can now um, hold one side with the Allen key and tighten it up, tighten the nut on the opposite side. With no fear of the the bush spinning continuously. And now just finally tighten the top two bolts. It's very important to reconnect the tank back up. And once you fit it, you've got to make sure it goes right home and clicks. If you don't, it cuts the fuel. You hear that click? 